Richard just finished up some stretching exercises for his lateral epicondus. We're going to go actually into an ultrasound treatment and go ahead and that's why he's in this position. He normally necessarily wouldn't have to have him in this position, but it's whatever patient comfort. Yeah, patient comfort. Okay. We're going to get everything set up, make sure you don't get any gel on any of their clothes or anything like that because they're probably going to be leaving in these clothes and that gel is for sticking. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn the machine on and there's a lever here in the back. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. You're gonna select the ultrasound here. Okay. And apparently someone has unplugged this, but we can plug that in. We can fix that, no problem. Okay. All plugged in. Okay. And because it is lateral epicondylitis, we're trying to reach deeper tissue. So we're going to go ahead and. Right here. We're going to have it on 1 megahertz, and we're trying to get some heating because we're actually going to do some additional stretching. So we're going to have it on 100%, which is heating the whole time. And then we're going to have it on 1.0 watts per centimeter square. Okay. And we also need to change the time on here. So to change the time, you're going to hit treatment time. You bump it up to 8 minutes. Go back. And then now we still have the same settings. The 1 megahertz, 100%. Another one point on watts per centimeter square. Okay. And you want to have a generous amount of gel because you want to make sure that you always have the always have the gel in between the head, the sound head, and the skin because it's going to act as a, a medium, a lubricant as well. So once you get the head on there, kind of rub it around. In the area that you're going to be treating. And then you're going to go ahead and hit start and begin your treatment. And in your treatment, you want to move about no faster than four centimeters a second. And the area that you're treating is approximately two times the sound head. So we're going to be treating an area that's about double the size of the sound head. And again, you want to be moving about four centimeters a second. You want to keep your eye on your patient, make sure you don't leave it in one spot. And you want to make sure that you've always got a good amount of gel underneath it. And you're always going to be asking them how, how they feel. Uh, make sure that if they have an intense burning or anything like that, then you move it a little faster. Or you can also change if it does get hot. Because some people are more sensitive to this than others. You can always change the duty cycle. And then you can have it on 5% heating, which would only heat half of the time, so it cycles on and off. And that will definitely avoid the, it getting too hot. Okay, and that concludes our treatment for today.